அனைவருக்கும் வெரி குட் மார்னிங் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு ஆதவ நியூஸ் பேப்பர் ஹைலைட்ஸ் டுடே தேர்ஸ்டே ஃபிஃப்த் ஆஃப் ஜனவரி ட்வெண்ட்டி செவன்டீன் திஸ் இஸ் எட்வேட் வித் ஹைலைட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டுடேஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் நியூஸ் பேப்பர்ஸ் ஆஸ் யூஸ்வல் வி ஹேவ் த்ரீ நியூஸ் பேப்பர்ஸ் ஃபார் த ஹைலைட்ஸ் டெய்லி மிர டெய்லி நியூஸ் அண்ட் சலோன் டுடே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லீ லெட்ஸ் ஹேவ் அ கொண்ட டெய்லி மிர த மெயின் ஹெட் லைன்ஸ் இஸ் நோ இன்ஸ்டபிலிட்டி இன் கவர்மெண்ட் சேஸ் பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் ஃபர்சஸ் ட்ரைங் டு சபடாச் டெவலப்மெண்ட் டு கேப்சர் பவர் We have finalized the GSP Plus with the EU. Hamba to the port, framework agreement has been signed with the China Merchant Company. There is no instability in the government, though some forces are trying to sabotage development in order to capture power, Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singh said yesterday. Whatever issues which the MPS of both allies of the government talks of could be resolved through a dialogue. The Prime Minister said responding to a question raised by a journalist at a media briefing as to how the government could go ahead with the economic plans which he came out with last afternoon. Consultation task force recommends at least one international judge to try war crimes. The court shall ensure that there will be a majority of national judges and at least one international judge on every bench. The Consultation Task Force on Reconciliation Mechanisms in its final report submitted to on Tuesday recommended that there be a majority of national judges and at least one international judge on every bench to try war crimes and serious violations of human rights that allegedly took place in Sri Lanka. Female patient falls off ambulance. A female patient who was being transported to the Karapitiya hospital is reported to have fallen off the ambulance on the Southern Express way yesterday morning after its back door was suddenly opened. Ali said, "I won't topple government while Ranil Vikramasinghe is away," says Mahindra Rajapaksa. Former President Mahindra Rajapaksa MP said yesterday that he was not a backstabber who would only topple the government when Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe was in the country and not when he was abroad. Bomb on train. Woman who gave false alarm arrested. The police yesterday arrested the 18-year-old woman who was allegedly to have phoned the emergency number 119. falsely claiming that there was a bomb on the Colombo Badulla train scheduled to leave at 8 p.m. on Monday. The statement was also recorded from the suspect a resident of Kerindibela. Secondly, let's move to daily news. The main headline says, Cope to probe call tender rice scam. Investigations to be based on AG's audit reports. Two reports handed over to Speaker Cope. The Committee on Public Enterprises will start investigations into the recent coal tender controversy and the massive scam related to rice importation in 2014-2015, COP Chairman Sunil Handunetti said. He said investigations would be based on the audit reports of the Auditor General. He said the Auditor General on Tuesday handed over two reports pertaining to the above matters to the Speaker as well as the COP. Gambaha High Court judge decides not to hear Jairaj case on personal grounds. Gambaha High Court judge Priyanka Fernando yesterday decided not to hear the Jairaj Fernando Pule murder case on personal grounds. Gambaha High Court judge Priyanka Fernando yesterday informed court that he would inform the Judicial Services Commission to appoint another High Court judge to hear the Jairaj Fernando Pule murder case. UPFA representative signs delimitation committee final report UPFA representative Salia Matthew yesterday signed the final report of the delimitation committee delimitation committee chairman Ashoka Piri said finally let's move to Ceylon today court freezes Udayankar's 16 bank accounts food magistrate Langa Jay Ratna yesterday ordered the freezing of 16 bank accounts maintained by former Sri Lanka envoy to Russia Udayanka Viratunga the suspect is alleged to have deposited money in the 16 accounts after having accrued it from the controversial MiG aircraft deal arts degree for death row prisoner for the first time in the history of Sri Lankan prison department a death row inmate has obtained an arts degree from the university of Sri Jayawardenepura 
The recipient of this degree is a former sub-inspector of police B. A. Lakmini Indika serving a life term at the Velikada prison after being handed the death sentence on conviction of the murder of Muhammad Shyam. No foreign judges, says Rajita. Co-Cabinet Spokesman Minister Rajita Sena Ratna dismissed the Consultation Task Force on Reconciliation Mechanism's recommendation to include foreign judges in any future tribunals on alleged war crimes. People can say whatever they want, but the government has been clear there will be no foreign judges, he said. Surrendered LTT cadres, judge orders army to submit full list. Mulatib District Judge MSM Sumaydin yesterday ordered the army to submit to court by 30th January the complete list of names of LTT cadres who surrendered to the army during the final phase of the war. Threatening CID officer case against ex-DIG was on daily basis. The Colombo High Court Judge Jihan Kulatunga yesterday decided to hear the case filed against former DIG Vas Gunawardana over his alleged threatening of SP Shani Abe Sekara at the CID premises on daily basis commencing 24 March. With that, let's come to the end of today's paper highlights. We will come with more news tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening to other newspaper highlights.